Vijay asks me, do I think this yeah, one yeah. will We will start now. No problem. 8 o'clock or we can start. Okay. Um, so since I'm assuming all of you know the access statement, right, wrong, good, bad, pod, pop. Yes. Is, is that so I don't have to explain that? No. Okay. Okay, so let us start. So um, this, hi Tasneem, thanks for joining. I, I, I just like to thank everyone. So, okay, so um, yeah, so this call is called Gold Vibes. So why, why, why did I create this class called Gold Vibes, right? So let's, let's take gold. Uh, gold is so precious, right? Everyone, it, it's a metal, but it stands out compared to every metal. Even if uh, the economy is going to go down or the currency value is going to go down, the P value is like deteriorating every day with the current situation. Still, somehow gold has its uh, authenticity. It's, it has it, its value never goes down. So why is that? Because that is one metal that does not react to any external circumstance. Whatever happens in the external situation, that metal does not react at all. It does not change. It does not diminish. If you take other metals, silver, if it's outside for some time, it starts becoming, uh, you know, the color changes, its texture changes. But gold is something that does not diminish. So what is gold vibe? What is the intent of this class? If we can be that vibration of gold, so that nothing external to you diminishes you ever. Nothing outside of you can affect you in any way because you know who you are. You know you're as precious as gold. You know the gift that is within you is as precious as gold. That is what uh, this whole class is about. And what happens when you don't react to any external circumstance? The first thing is you're free. How many of you like freedom? Yeah, free. So how, how, how you cannot even believe how free you will be because nothing outside of you can trigger you. Nothing outside of you can diminish you. What we do is um, in access, there is a, there are, there's a word called infinite being and then there is finite being. So if you really want to be in that infinite space, which is a space of creation, we learn not to react. We learn to be like gold and not react to anything, but we can respond. So when we respond, we don't diminish in our value and we can change things. If we react, we're kind of gone with that energy. So that's the idea. Second thing is when we are uh, matching the vibrations of gold, gold is also abundance. It gives you lots of abundance. So the idea of these clearings is for us to invite abundance into our life and for us to also know that the true precious uh, thing more than anything else is yourself. And being yourself at any state is what will give you that vibration. Okay, so the universe works on vibrations. The universe responds to your energy. What energy you put out is what the universe can respond to. And it will respond to each and every thought that you put out. Everything is being responded to in the exact uh, vibes that you've put out. So if you, if you say, I can't do it, the universe will show you 10 reasons why you can't do it. If you say, I can do it, the universe will show you how to do it. So if you put out a vibration of gold, what and all can we attract? And how do we put out in vibration of gold? So access works on question. So let us ask this, this first question. So the question will be, what energy, space, consciousness, and choice can I be to be vibrationally congruent and vibrationally compatible to the energy of gold? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive, and receive that with ease. Will you now destroy and uncreate it all? So this is when all of you can say yes. If you're muted, you can ask. You can say it uh, in your head. If so, yes from all of you. Yeah. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay. So is it that easy? Yes. Access is that easy. We just have to keep asking these questions, and there will be a day when we get to the vibrations of gold, and that is the day when you will have this freedom. Sorry, did someone ask a question? Okay. Hi guys, thank you for everyone joining. Um, I'd like to thank everyone who's joined. It's more people have joined, so I will rethank you. Okay. Sorry, did someone have a question? No, no, we can continue. Okay. So what energy, space, consciousness, and choice can I be to be vibrationally compatible and vibrationally congruent to the energy of gold? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive, or receive that 
Will you now destroy an uncreated once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and peons. So what generative energy, space, consciousness and choice can I be to be vibrationally compatible and vibrationally congruent to the energy of gold that attracts lots of gold and abundance into my life right away? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive and receive that, will you now destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and peons. Okay, so let's talk a little now about why we should not react and why is gold so precious because it does not react to anything. So the minute you react to something, you align and agree with it. Resistance is also alignment. So if I, if I have to defend myself, if someone says, you know, you don't look good and I have to say, no, I look really good. If I have to defend myself, I am resisting. But why, why am I defending? Because deep down, I have agreed with that point of view that maybe I don't look good. So let me prove that this is, this is, let me prove that I look good. So resistance and reaction is also alignment. So when you align, you have reacted, you have diminished yourself, you have believed someone else's point of view, or maybe your point of view, which is not true. And you have just diminished yourself. So you're no longer in that vibration of gold, which does not react to anything outside of it. It does not get diminished by air. It does not get diminished by any elements. And even if they make it into uh, different shapes and sizes, it still does not lose its value. So that is how, if we truly choose to be infinite beings, that is how we can be with the freedom to not react. Now, gold is very easy to metal. For us, it's like, you know, we're humans and humanoids. And then there are so much thinking happening and so much perceiving of other people's thoughts happening. So how do we respond? Again, two basic questions of access consciousness, very beautiful questions. And the basics, how does it get better than this? What else is possible? So even if the situation around me uh, is not looking good, it's looking as if it's going against me, it's not, it's, this is not what I anticipated, this is not what I expected, rather than getting into the solidity of the thought that this did not happen the way I expected it, what if you can say, okay, I'm like gold, this will not diminish me, how does it get better? What else is possible here? What different can I do here? And then you will see, maybe you cannot change what happened, but you will make sure it doesn't repeat again. That is one thing that we can, uh, we, we will see the change. And even it will not be as bad as it, things will change. If you really understand how precious you are and the gift that you can be. So what generative energy, space, consciousness and choice can me and my body be to realize the gift that I truly am? And everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive, and receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Nithya, so I have what, a question. Yes. Hi, yes, Kanika here. Hi, yeah, Kanika. Nithya, what's it? Hi. Uh, what is the difference between compatibility and congruency? Is there, um, aren't we, is it either or, or what is it like? Um, congruency is, is, you know, I can get, I can attract it. Compatibility is like it fits. So you're you know, being both, right? Uh, yeah, when you're being the energy both. of gold? Yes, we, we are asking to be the energy of both. Compatibility is like, you know, fits in. So congruence is like, it is in the same frequency, the waves are coming in the same frequency. Compatibility is like, it has reached me and it like, you know, like you see how my fingers fit in. So it's like a piece of the puzzle put together. They can fit in. Otherwise we, uh, so, so that's the, did you get that? Yeah, I got it. So it's basically you're talking about the energy of gold. You are being yes. in oneness with the energy of gold, is it? Yes, yes. And why do we, again, uh, I, I don't know how late you joined or early, why we want to do, do that is gold is one thing that doesn't react to anything. So if we get yeah. there, we don't react to anything that happens external. And we are always in the space of uh, not diminishing ourselves, in the space of happiness, in the space of gratitude. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for asking the question. So, um, and, and again, how do we do that? One is by asking this question. Two is just the basic tools. How does it get better than this? What else is possible? So what generative energy, space, consciousness, and choice can I be to respond to every situation that life throws at me with so much ease 
and everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive, and receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what generative energy, space, consciousness, and choice can I be to easily respond to every situation that comes in my life? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive, and receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what would it be like for me to realize what is my true worth that is not diminished by anyone outside of me or by any external circumstances? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive and receive that with so much ease. Time is a godzillion. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what would it be like for me to realize the gift that I truly am that cannot diminish by anything external of me or by any external situation? And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive and receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and peons. What generative energy, space, consciousness and choice can me and my body be to be vibrationally congruent, vibrationally compatible to all the desires that I have and everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive and receive that with so much ease. Will you now destroy and create it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. All the situations to which I have resisted and reacted and aligned and agreed and made it such a solid point of view in me that it has become me when it's truly not me. All those points of view, are you willing to destroy and uncreate all of them from the point of creation? And everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive, receive, and destroy that with ease. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So all the points of view that I've aligned to and agreed to and resisted and reacted to in this lifetime and across lifetimes, which has solidified in me and preventing me from being the vibration of my true self or the vibration of gold, Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? And everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive and receive that, will you destroy and uncreate it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, so what is... Uh, um, so, so we have to be the vibration of gold, that is one thing. What's the, what's the most important gift that we have? Any, anyone wants to take an answer? Anyone wants to try? There's no right or wrong answer. Yes, Kanika unmuted. Uh, so, okay, she muted herself. Uh, the, yeah. So uh, the gift that we have is uh, we, are, we are the infinite beings. And as yes. uh, infinite beings, uh, uh, yeah, so we know, be, perceive, receive everything. That, as, that is, our awareness is way greater than we can even think. That's so amazing. Thank you so much. We are infinite beings. Uh, and we have, apart from being all that, being everything we can be, we have the body also as a gift. Right? So uh, when, when you look at your body, let, let's just try this. How many of you like gold? I'm, I'm sure everyone would. So try wearing gold on your body and, and try wearing another metal on your body. Just feel the difference. So the body actually also perceive the vibrations of something that is more abundant and the body likes things that are more abundant. And if you just wear gold for the joy of it. So um, 
if you just wear gold jewelry or um, you have gold coins in your pocket just for the joy of it you will see that will also help you attract more abundance now what is attracting more abundance is because the body is getting pleasure out of uh, what you're wearing out of how you like the way you look out of how the other people like the way you look so this is what is giving us joy and in the end abundance comes from one thing which is laughter or joy so it is very very simple even if we don't keep saying you know what energy space and consciousness can i be to be compatible to gold if we all know how to be happy and joyous that is what will attract the abundance and that is when we get to when the situation when the external circumstance seems really bad there are sometimes we get into life where we you know it's it's mostly judgment but the situation seems so big it seems bigger than you but for an infinite being no situation can ever be bigger than you if the situation seems bigger than you you are in the finite space and it's very simple to get over it is to move into the infinite space again how does it get better than this or what choice do i have here the four questions in the bar manuals what is this what can i do with it can i change it if so how can i change it any of those tools can get you out of this finite space to the infinite space and then you will see as you respond everything around you will start changing so basically the point is the more you laugh the more you will attract abundance and it is an abundant universe so as long as we know that you are the gift and as long as you know you have a choice to respond to every situation you can change things around turn things around because no situation will be bigger than you so let's do this clearing what can you be to know that you are an infinite being and no situation that is outside of you is greater than you and everything that does not allow you to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all for all eternity right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds and everywhere i have made any situation in my past greater than me so i'm still stuck in the past instead of living in the present will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all for all eternity right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds what will it be like for me to know that i am as valuable valuable and as precious as gold or even more precious and everything that does not allow me to know be perceive and receive the gift that i truly am to this planet and to everyone else including myself will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so how much laughter can i be today to raise my vibrations and to raise the vibrations of the planet with so much ease and everything that does not allow me to laugh at anything and everything that happens in my life with so much ease and happiness will you now destroy and create it once and for all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds how much more happier can i be for my vibrations to be vibrationally congruent and vibrationally compatible with the energy of gold diamonds abundance anything that i desire and everything that does not allow me to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds so um there there is one book by gary i don't remember the name exactly but he mentions something he's what he says is um and what he says is what is there with you all the time is your body and i've also written a book it's called a place called home so the crux of my book is the real home that you have with you is your body so in gary's book what he mentions is um why uh, you know wearing jewelry and gold why is why why it is why is it good for the body and why is it important so he just made a joke in that book so he says earth is the most unpredictable planet earth is the most unpredictable planet just assuming that you know it's it's predictable and nothing will change is is uh, again a interesting point of view which many people have because there's any chance of an earthquake there's there's a high chance of floods 
and uh, he talks in especially in california there are, it's an earthquake prone zone so there are chances of you know things uh, going wrong and at that time you escape you escape with who with your body so at that time what you wear in your body especially if it's something precious that is what you can carry out so even in a catastrophe those those the things that you carry with your body is what's going to be with you anyway that's uh, just a very humorous way uh, he's written in that book so everything that brought up and let down for each and every one of you will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all right wrong good bad what bog all nine shots boys and beyonds so what generative energy space consciousness and choice can i be to receive so much gold that brings so much joy to my body that i love to wear and love to show off and everything that does not allow me to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds okay so any of you have any questions please okay any anything coming up for anyone yeah hello yeah vijay yeah uh, sometimes when we are doing energy pulls like earth is uh, abundant of gold therefore they are pulling that gold energy into us and then we can regenerate our body that is also yes. one way of doing that is also one way of doing yes yes so the Yes. One more thing is, uh, uh, when we create, when we are the energy of gold, it is also we are inviting the future into the present, right? As in, we are creating for the future also with the energy of gold, isn't it? Yes. Yes. So whatever energy you are today is what will create your future, and that's when the past cannot be changed. Whatever we do, but what you be in the present has a huge say in what happens in the future. so when we say what can i be to be compatible with the energy of gold in the present today and we keep clearing it okay someone said my voice is not clear uh, is it clear for everyone if my voice is not clear yeah, i think we just yeah, going to give a recording yeah, he's going to give a recording so, thank you yeah uh, so the what energy you are in the present plays a huge role in what you attract in the future and the day or the second you are vibrationally compatible with that it will actualize when we say the clearing we may not we are asking to be compatible with gold but we may not get there uh, with one clearing and that's why we keep repeating the clearing and that will enable us to let go of all the limitations and the more fun and the more happiness with which you do the clearing and the more gratitude uh, you live in every moment So if I say I want to be compatible to gold, and gold is a non-reactive energy, and then after I say the clearing, uh, for ten minutes I start worrying about everything that happened, and I and I cry, and then I react. So I'm not definitely not being uh, compatible with the energy of gold at that time, right? So then it will delay the process. So the more you say the clearing, the more happy and grateful you are. It will enable you to create the future, and the day, the minute, or the second you are compatible. you will actualize that you will get that abundance in your hand or you will create something even greater because see gold is just a metaphor are we not yes we are talking about the metal gold but the um, whole basis of the class is if we can be non reactive just like the gold metal so when you are compatible with the vibration of gold it is not only yes you you can attract gold you can attract abundance but it's something beyond it is for you to be that energy that does not react to anything you don't get triggered by anything nothing outside can you know Uh, damage you or hamper you so that is the idea i hope i asked uh, answered your question anu someone had the yeah, anu had posted a question so what generative energy space consciousness and choice can me and my can you and your body be to be vibrationally compatible and vibrationally congruent to the energy of gold and everything that does not allow you to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds what generative energy space and consciousness can you be to be vibrationally compatible to the energy of the gold at every second so that everything you touch turns into gold and everything you start becomes a huge success and everything that does not allow you to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all for all eternity right wrong good bad pot pock all nine shots boys and beyonds 
So all the points of view that I've aligned to and agreed with or resisted or reacted, that is not enabling me to be vibrationally congruent or vibrationally compatible with the energy of gold. Will you now destroy an uncreated once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What generative energy, space, consciousness and choice can you and your body be to be vibrationally compatible and vibrationally congruent to the energy of gold so that you attract lots of abundance with lots of ease right away and everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive and receive that. Will you now? Destroy and uncreate it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, bock, all nine shots, boys and peons. What would it be like for me to respond to everything that life offers to me with so much ease? So that ease is my priority. And everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive and receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, pock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Vijay, did you did yeah. you have a question? Yeah, Lakshmi is asking uh, how uh, like procrastination, resistance, and career growth. Um, this gold is uh, helpful there. Oh, so why are you doing a career? Lakshmi, Lakshmi is asking. I I know. So I'm asking. Uh, so Lakshmi, why why are we doing a career? Hi. Hi, Lakshmi. Yes. Um, yes. Uh, like uh, for uh, recognition, you know, for life success, abundance, everything. Okay. Um, so let me let me uh, put it the way I understood it. I I uh, actually work in IT, and uh, I've been working in IT for long. And then after I found access, I kind of uh, left my job, uh, or they fired me. So that was the correct term. Uh, so. I realized I was doing my career in the end for the money to be to be to be very honest to myself it was it was just it was looking for income and somewhere satisfaction so if you have you if you know that the gift you are you will always have the satisfaction and in access Gary says the purpose of living life is to be happy so if you know that it, it's just about life is just about being happy and enjoying it and then if you're compatible with gold the money will come we don't have to work hard or do a career one way or the other you will attract the money. So it's just an easier way of getting abundant. Okay, thank you so much. So, so yes. let's, let's choose ease. We are all powerful creators. And whatever has happened in your life today, however bad it is, or however good it is, what if you acknowledge you have created this? Even the crap that is there, if you know that it is big, you have created this with some point of view, maybe in this lifetime, maybe in another lifetime. So if you acknowledge that, Whatever has happened today, I have created it. Can you change? Can you change what you've created tomorrow? Yes. Yes. And how easy is it to change that? You just have to change a point of view. Okay. We don't have to go change the whole external system. We just have to change a point of view that we have. And then the whole external system changes. So what if we can receive with ease? What if we can be so happy and receive with ease? And it's not, it's and, and when you work with ease. Um, things things will get done. So I also run another special class called Ease at Work, especially for people who are in careers or in jobs. Um, and in, in that class, we talk about how you can make your work so easy, how you can delegate with ease, how you can ask your workplace to contribute to you. So there are many things we can do to get even work done easier. But if you want, if at least my point of view is I'm doing work to get money. So what if I just ask for gold directly? And then I'll be shown what little work I can do. It may not be procrastination as such, but it's like I can do minimal. I'm, I'm a minimum, you know, I, I don't complicate or do extreme complicated stuff. I do minimal things, but I get the maximum output. Okay. So that's a different, that's, that's an infinite being, right? So you follow Thank your you. awareness. Thank you so much for asking the question. So following your awareness is so easy. It is like, I know what to do. This is what I have to do. But then thinking is like really hard. And, and I, whenever I think, you know, sometimes I get a headache most of the time. <laughs> Thinking is actually harder. Not thinking is like very easy. So what energy, space, consciousness and choice can you be to have no point of view about anything that's happening in your external environment so that you can respond to the situation in the best and easiest manner? 
and everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive, and receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, odd, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So all, everywhere you've decided, you have to work hard and you need a career to create abundance instead of choosing abundance and being the energy of abundance that you truly can be. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, odd, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what generative energy, space, consciousness, and choice can you and your body be to be vibrationally congruent and vibrationally compatible to the energy of cold so you do not have to diminish by anything that happens outside of you or by the way anyone treats you and everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive, and receive that with so much ease. Times are God's in you. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, hot, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. So what can you be or do different from today to respond to all situations with ease instead of reacting or aligning or agreeing? And everything that does not allow you to respond with ease, will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Right, wrong, good, bad, hot, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds how much happiness and laughter can you be today to create something greater for you and the planet and everything that does not allow you to know be perceive and receive that will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all right wrong good bad hot box all nine shots boys and beyonds and money follows joy um, even gold is like, like like very precious like i was saying even if the economy goes down uh, gold will still remain gold will still uh, be precious and there were there were there many talks on uh, if the economy collapses it might we, might we might go back to exchanging gold like in olden days hopefully that will not happen so everything that brought up and let down will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all right wrong good bad pot pock online shots boys and beyonds so what would it take for each and every one of you to realize how precious you are and how you can never be diminished by anything that happens outside of you or by anyone else and everything that does not allow you to know, be, perceive, and receive that, will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all, for all eternity? Right, wrong, good, bad, hot, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. What can you be to take life so lightly that you're always in the energy of what else is possible instead of going into resistance or reaction or alignment or agreement? And everything that does not allow you to have that freedom of responding over reacting. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, hot, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. How wonderful would my life be if I knew how to respond with ease and I followed my awareness of how to respond with so much ease to create something greater, moment by moment. And everything that does not allow me to know, be, perceive, or receive that. Will you now destroy and uncreate it once and for all? Right, wrong, good, bad, hot, bock, all nine shots, boys and beyonds. Okay, a any questions from anyone? Okay, so um, what what is... Uh, yeah, there are no yeah. questions. And okay. Nitya is also uh, having foundation classes and other classes. If thank anybody you. interested in joining. Yeah, thank you so much, Vijay. So I uh, run a lot of uh, different access classes, like the foundation class, how to become money work for classes. I will keep posting them. And uh, all of you are uh, welcome to um, choose them or not choose them. Just whatever feels light to you. And it will give you a lot of, uh, it will give you a transformation of your being. But again, the basis of life is, can I respond over react? So let, let's remember this. Will all of you remember? An infinite being will respond. A finite being will, res will react. So which one would you like to cho choose to be? So and every time you react, 